Hello, I'm Jeff from the Smart Deploy team, here to share some tips regarding image creation that we use and share with our customers on a day-to-day -day basis. The first is to try using a virtual machine as opposed to a physical device for your reference system. This is a really clean and controlled environment to start from. It's super easy to use, very portable, and many types of virtualization software happen to be free. So you don't need to dedicate space to an imaging lab or buy a bunch of hardware just to capture images. Second, don't be afraid to toss any apps that you know everyone will use inside of the reference system. This can shorten the deployment time at, at the endpoint. So if you know that in addition to Windows, your users will need Office and a VPN client and updates, go ahead and try and put that in the image instead of waiting for a scripted installer after the fact. And finally, a lot of customers ask us, how many images should I have? Now, that's a very good question, and it usually depends on your environment. But if you start down the road of using a VM and including software, you'll reduce the number of images you're maintaining because you're not making them based on the hardware that you need to support. You can almost think of them as software bundles that may be different enough between the HR and engineering departments, for example, that that requires two different images, but it doesn't matter which computer they're using. We hope this was helpful, and for more information on this and Smart Deploy, please check out our website, smartdeploy.com, or our community site, deploycentral.com. And remember to hit subscribe to stay up to date on our other videos and tutorials, and remember that you can always tweet your questions to us at Smart Deploy. Thanks for watching.